Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Ox Talks. I appreciate you uh, checking out the show and supporting the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, share these videos, everybody. The, the series that I'm doing here uh, is called uh, Stay Out of Court. It's meant to provide uh, you guys, no matter where you're at, with just some general guidance and things that you might want to consider avoiding in order to save yourself uh, from the financial pain and the stress of getting involved in uh, the court system in the United States. Okay, I'm a California attorney, been practicing for 30 years, a lot of litigation work. So, you know, I'm coming from a position of knowledge on this. I'm not giving you specific legal advice. The laws uh, vary from state to state, jurisdiction to jurisdiction, certainly uh, from country to country. Uh, so bear that in mind, seek your own legal advice. But what I want to talk to you about today is a very important topic. So again, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and let's try to um, share these series so we can keep waking people up. The concept of legal fees. Uh, when you have to hire a lawyer to uh, get involved in any kind of legal proceeding, uh, it, it's obviously a, a big financial burden when you have to go and pay a lawyer. If it's a litigation matter, Normally, you have to pay the, the lawyer hourly for their time plus costs. And depending on your financial situation, it can be a, a major burden. And if you unfortunately are a defendant, meaning that you have been sued, a lot of times you don't have any option because you don't understand the court systems and how to navigate that process and adequately defend yourself. But the situation can, can become even worse and more dire in, in a circumstance where you could, uh, depending on the laws in your state and, and this type of matter is, you could, in addition uh, to being held responsible for paying your own legal fees and costs, you could also be hit with uh, having to pay the other side's legal fees and costs. So just real briefly, I'm not going to go into you know a lot of detail today. It's meant to be an overview and something to have you, uh, you know, be cautious about, okay? especially with disputes that you think are not large disputes, you think it's no big deal, uh, it can become a very big deal. I've been involved in so many cases over the years where unfortunately the legal fees end up driving the litigation because it turns out that the cost of the claim, whatever it is, soaking what, the breach of contract, the non-disclosure, whatever it is, you know, is, is, is uh, surpassed, by, surpassed by the legal fees, okay? And then the parties are dug in, they're into it too deep in legal fees, so the tail's wagging the dog, so to speak, and you're fighting a case over legal fees. In California, the general law is that each party is responsible for their own legal fees and costs in litigation, but there are exceptions to that general rule. One exception is if there is a statute, specific statute involved in your case that provides that the prevailing party can recover legal fees from the, the losing party. That's one situation. Another situation is if you have a written contract, which provides for what we call prevailing party attorney's fees, okay? So a situation where uh, your contract has a provision that says if litigation uh, is, is, is initiated or if a suit is commenced uh, regarding the contract or whatever the document is uh, to interpret it for breach, whatever, uh, that the prevailing party uh, will be entitled to a award, uh, an award of, a lot of times it will say reasonable legal fees and costs, and in which case uh, the court will look at what's reasonable. Sometimes the language in the contract will say actual legal fees and costs, which means that whatever the lawyer is charging on the other side, if it's $1,000 an hour, guess what? It's not going to be reviewed uh, as, and scrutinized uh, by the court. So keep this in mind, uh, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's really really important because, you know, you know, like, like a let's say a a health an unforeseen health situation or something or a car breaking down something that costs you a lot of money. That thing can something like that can blindside you financially. And I have seen plenty of multiple six figure legal fee awards made against losing parties in litigation cases, okay? And it literally can bankrupt you. So it's not meant to, well, it is meant to scare you in the sense that I don't think people understand the gravity sometimes 
of matters that have already ended up in court being litigated. And when, when I look back at a lot of client matters and things I see in court on a, on a you know weekly and daily basis almost, many of these disputes from my perspective could have been avoided had the parties took a little bit more care to communicate uh, before running to court, had the parties taken a little bit more, made a little more effort to try to resolve the dispute uh, with one another, whatever it is, okay, uh, before involving the court. So I want you to keep that in mind. Again, weigh in, leave your comments in the video if you guys know what the, uh, the rules are in your state or jurisdiction. Uh, but, uh, you know, be, be very, very careful with that. And look at when you talk about prevailing party in California, sometimes it can be, you know, a, a slippery slope, meaning you may actually win some of the things that you uh, were claiming either as a plaintiff or as a cross complainant. Um, or you may prevail on some of your defenses. But if the opposing party is deemed to have won uh, a greater uh, victory or prevailed on more of their issues than you did on yours, you could still be deemed the non-prevailing party and get hit with legal fees. So there are so many pitfalls. I hope that you will take this into consideration uh, in doing your best uh, to stay out of the legal system. And yes, you are hearing it from a guy who makes his living in the legal system. Uh, but you know, 30 years into this, it, it obviously uh, I've seen a lot, and it's more of just you know a, a wake up call, hopefully, and a shot across the bow, and a warning to anybody who doesn't understand the process or doesn't take the process seriously if they're sued or if they just you know, get into some kind of a hassle with somebody over a contract or a neighbor dispute or whatever it is and blow it off or tell the person, go ahead and sue me, whatever it is. Uh, be very, very careful you know, what you ask for in that circumstance and be looking at contracts that you sign to determine if there are prevailing party fee provisions in those contracts or provisions that address or govern illegal fees in the event that there is a dispute, okay? Um, because it becomes a double-edged sword. An agreement or a statute that does not contain a prevailing party uh, fee clause and you're a litigant, well, guess what? You're not going to be held responsible for their side's fees, at least in California, unless one of those two things exists, okay? But you're going to be responsible for your own fees, all right? Uh, so that becomes, you know, uh, let's say frustrating if you're sued in a case and you have no, you think it's a frivolous case, you spend a bunch of money defending it successfully and you don't have a way in many instances to get your legal fees back, okay? I'll leave it there right now today with this episode. Again, please share it. Uh, the support for the channel is growing. Please um, uh, subscribe and, and like the video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.